Electric vehicles, otherwise known as EVs, are slowly but surely taking over the world. Electric vehicles are revolutionizing the automotive industry by offering an alternative to traditional internal combustion engine vehicles. No doubt, EVs offer a lot of relaxation for the owner as no fuel is required, and it's supposedly good for the environment as well. But is switching to EVs really the better thing to do? Is it actually good for the environment? Is getting over your range anxiety actually worth it, or is it all just an image presented by the media? Well, this video will help you find that out, as this is 10 harsh facts about EVs you must know before buying one. So, the first thing to know is what is actually the one point that makes EVs different from conventional vehicles, and why is the modern world getting so obsessed with it? What's the need for EVs? While there are other important factors like performance, cost, and charging infrastructure, the compelling reason for widespread adoption is the urgent need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and combat climate change. But EVs are not actually as advantageous as they seem, nope. and there are often scenarios where people find out those reasons only after they have purchased a car and spent some time using it. But as EVs get more and more mainstream, so do their downcomings. Higher initial cost. It is to be expected that an EV will have higher cost than a traditional vehicle, but the difference can be too much and therefore becomes unaffordable for most of the population. Current lithium-ion batteries are costly to produce due to their sophisticated design and materials. A Tesla Model 3 might cost $50,000, while a comparable gasoline-powered sedan could be priced around $35,000. As battery technology advances and manufacturing costs decrease, EVs are likely to become more affordable over time. But currently, as of today, EVs are generally much more expensive when it comes to initial cost. Battery replacement. An EV battery can cost anywhere from $6,500 to $20,000, which is extremely expensive. Although battery life is improving, but still a replacement that expensive in which you can get a brand new high-end conventional car. It definitely leaves some thoughts in mind that is it really worth buying an EV? Battery replacement is a significant consideration when purchasing an electric vehicle EV. While EV batteries are designed to last for many years, they do have a finite lifespan. Factors affecting battery lifespan. Usage patterns. Frequent charging and discharging, extreme temperatures and rapid acceleration can accelerate battery degradation. Battery chemistry. Different battery chemistries, e.g. lithium-ion solid state, have varying lifespans and performance characteristics. Manufacturing quality. The quality of the battery cells and the overall manufacturing process can impact battery longevity. Cost of replacement. Expensive component. EV batteries are a major component of the vehicle and replacing them can be costly. Labor-intensive process. The replacement process often involves specialized equipment and skilled technicians adding to the overall cost. Depreciation. The value of an EV can decrease significantly if the battery needs to be replaced, especially if the vehicle is nearing the end of its expected lifespan. Warranty coverage. Manufacturer warranties. Many EV manufacturers offer warranties for their batteries, covering replacement or repair for a certain period or mileage. Extended warranties. Some buyers may opt for extended warranties to provide additional coverage beyond the manufacturer's warranty. Batteries are the most important part to consider before buying an EV, and obviously so. If you are enjoying the video to this point, please do like and subscribe. Limited charging stations. The availability of public charging stations, especially in rural areas, can be limited. Maintenance of EVs in a rural area could prove to be very difficult, as the needed tools would most likely be not found there. Charging time. Charging an EV takes significantly longer than refueling a gasoline car which can be inconvenient for long journeys. It would be difficult for someone used to conventional cars to switch to EVs as the charging time can be a big difference. People want to be done with the refuel as soon as possible, and that is unlikely with charging an EV. Charging costs. Depending on electricity rates, charging an EV can be more expensive than refueling a gasoline car. Electricity is definitely a more expensive resource than gasoline. It takes a good amount of electricity to completely charge an EV battery. Limited range. The range of electric vehicles refers to the distance they can travel on a single charge. While improving, EV range is still generally lower than that of gasoline cars, which can cause range anxiety for some drivers. This anxiety is induced by the fear that they won't be able to reach the nearest charging station in time and will be stranded somewhere. Range is an important factor as some drivers need the range spectrum depending on their use. 
Performance in cold weather. Batteries rely on chemical reactions to store and release energy. In cold temperatures, these reactions slow down, leading to reduced battery performance and capacity. The EV battery performance can be reduced in cold weather, impacting range and charging speed. This is a major point, as it pretty much makes EVs non-functional in peak cold weather. Paying a price that much and it doesn't have versatility to work in different weathers is surely a harsh realization. Cold weather increases the internal resistance of the battery, which means more energy is lost as heat and less is available for driving. Battery production. The production of EV batteries requires significant resources and energy, which can have environmental implications. Most commonly ion battery chemistries used in present day EVs are nickel manganese cobalt aka NMC and lithium iron phosphate aka LFP. The use of cobalt makes these especially dangerous as exposure to cobalt can cause cancer as well as several diseases of eyes, skin, lungs and heart. Disposal of batteries. Proper disposal of used EV batteries is crucial to prevent environmental contamination. It is necessary to make sure that the dangerous materials told above are not spread in the environment. Handling and recycling EV batteries pose safety risks, including fire hazards due to the high energy density of lithium ion cells. Limited model availability. The range of EV models is still smaller compared to gasoline powered cars. In terms of gasoline powered cars, we can say that there's a model for everyone, but that isn't true for EVs. The availability of EV models can vary significantly by region. Some areas may have a wide selection of EVs, while others, particularly in developing markets, might have very few options. Electric vehicles EVs are undoubtedly a significant step towards a more sustainable future. Their potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and improve air quality is undeniable. However, it's crucial to approach the transition to EVs with a balanced perspective, considering the challenges and limitations alongside the benefits. While EVs offer a cleaner alternative to traditional gasoline-powered cars, they also present practical considerations. The higher initial cost, potential battery replacement expenses, limited charging infrastructure, and range anxiety can be significant factors for many consumers. Additionally, the environmental impact of EV battery production and disposal must be carefully evaluated. Ultimately, the decision to switch to an EV is a personal one. It's essential to weigh the potential long-term savings on fuel and maintenance against the upfront costs and potential inconveniences. By understanding the harsh facts about EVs, you can make an informed decision that aligns with your individual needs and values. Remember, the EV landscape is rapidly evolving and technological advancements may address some of the current challenges in the near future. Stay informed about the latest developments to make the best choice for your driving needs and environmental goals. Make sure to comment your thoughts down below.